Imagine a January morning in 2026. The temperature outside is below freezing, the streets are covered in a thin layer of ice, and the biting wind makes even the most hardy think twice before leaving home. Now imagine that, even in this scenario, the new Tesla with an aluminum ion battery starts effortlessly without any loss of performance, ready to drive as if it were a sunny spring day. This is where everything starts to change. For the first time, a battery technology directly challenges the biggest enemy of electric vehicles, extreme cold. While drivers of lithium-ion cars face charging failures and sharp drops in range, those who opt for aluminum-ion simply continue their journey, calmly, without the anxiety that many know so well. For years, the up to 30% drop in electric vehicle range in sub-zero temperatures was a recurring concern, especially for those living in regions like the northern United States, Canada, or southern Europe. As soon as the temperature plummeted, the promised 400 km per charge would, in practice, become 280 km, or less. For many, this wasn't just inconvenient, it was dangerous. After all, nobody wants to be stranded in the snow, waiting for a tow truck that could take hours. Now, with aluminum ion batteries maintaining losses below 15%, this reality is beginning to become a thing of the past. The 60-kilometer difference may not seem like much on paper, but in a blizzard, it can be the distance between danger and safety. And this difference isn't just theoretical. In simulated tests, vehicles equipped with aluminum-ion batteries showed impressive stability. While traditional systems lost power, the new packs maintained a constant level of performance. This means that the car not only starts faster, but also responds better to the accelerator and offers more confidence to the driver. For those who have experienced the frustration of an electric car that stutters in the cold, this change sounds almost like magic, but it's not magic. It's applied science with intelligence. Another noteworthy point is how these batteries withstand what engineers call voltage drop under load. In practice, this means that even when the car demands more power, such as when climbing a snowy hill or overtaking quickly, the battery delivers all it can without fluctuating. This is especially important for older drivers, who are already accustomed to the immediate response of combustion engines and don't want to give up that feeling of control. It's as if the car is saying, no matter the weather, you can trust me. And there's more. It's not just about keeping the car running, but about ensuring comfort and safety during the journey. In emergency situations, where the cabin needs to stay warm for extended periods, the aluminum ion battery can maintain a more efficient energy reserve. Imagine being stuck in traffic during a snowstorm and knowing that the heating system won't let you down. This is a game changer, especially for those who drive in remote areas or those with limited access to rescue services. More consistent range in low temperatures also directly impacts trip planning. Previously, many drivers needed to recalculate routes to include more charging points, fearing the battery would plummet mid-journey. Now, with a greater safety margin, these adjustments are becoming unnecessary. It's as if winter loses its intimidating power. That constant tension of calculating every kilometer, every climb, every curve, it simply disappears. If the cold no longer scares you, the next challenge is the waiting time when it's time to charge. Nobody likes to be stuck, especially when the weather is harsh, the wind is biting, and all you want is to get back on the road as quickly as possible. And it is precisely at this point that aluminum-ion batteries truly begin to shine. While traditional lithium-ion batteries require preheating and long pauses, to achieve a reasonable recharge, aluminum ion prototypes have promised something almost unbelievable, up to 60 times faster charging speeds under laboratory conditions. Of course, this number is an ideal peak, but the message is clear. The difference can be brutal. Just imagine this situation. Your Tesla's range is low, it's freezing cold, and the only available charging station is at a roadside gas station. 
With a lithium-ion battery, you'll probably face 40 minutes, maybe more, to get only 150 km of range. Now imagine if that same charging happened in less than half the time, without having to wait for the system to warm up the battery before starting. That changes everything, especially for those who depend on their car to work, visit family, or simply can't afford to wait. And the most curious thing is that this extra efficiency doesn't depend solely on the charger's speed, but on the very nature of aluminum's chemistry. Unlike lithium, which suffers from extreme temperatures and requires care to avoid damaging the cell, aluminum ion handles thermal variations better, accepts current more naturally, and distributes energy more stably. This means less waste, less heating, and an overall feeling of agility that makes any driver notice the difference from the first use, even though the most optimistic data is still limited to laboratories and prototypes the promises are being reinforced by increasingly encouraging real-world tests. Some demonstrations have already managed to recharge small packages in a matter of minutes, which, in the near future, could translate into city cars ready to drive after just a coffee. Furthermore, this speed also means shorter queues at charging points, a problem that is becoming increasingly common in large cities. This advancement is especially important when considering emergencies. Imagine needing to escape a storm, a citywide blackout, or even a road blocked by snow or a landslide. Having a car that recharges quickly can make the difference between being stranded and finding a way out. And even in simpler situations, like picking up a child from school or returning from work during a windstorm, knowing that the car is ready in minutes provides priceless peace of mind. Another advantage that many people forget is the impact on the daily lives of ride-hailing drivers or delivery workers. Those who live on the street need speed. Today, many avoid electric cars because of the charging time, which directly affects their daily income. If Tesla really manages to bring a model with this new type of battery to market, it will not only solve a technical problem, but also break a cultural barrier. The idea that electric is synonymous with waiting. If extreme cold is no longer a nightmare and recharging is almost as fast as filling up a gasoline car, there's still one concern that every urban driver knows well, flooded streets. Especially in cities like Sao Paulo, Houston, or Jakarta, where even a heavy rain can turn avenues into temporary rivers. Now, imagine facing this situation inside a Tesla with aluminum ion batteries. The difference? It keeps going. That's because this new technology is considerably more resistant to moisture and water compared to conventional lithium-ion packs. It's common for lithium-based electric vehicles to be sealed against water, but this doesn't mean they are invulnerable. Under heavy rain or in floods, even temporary exposure can cause increased internal resistance, triggering safety mechanisms and, in extreme cases, loss of capacity or sudden shutdowns. With aluminum ion cells, tests show that they retain more than 95% of their capacity even after partial submersion in up to 10 cm of water for almost an hour. Lithium systems, under the same conditions, can drop to 80% or less. This technical detail becomes incredibly important when the driver encounters a flooded street with no way to turn back. Instead of hoping the car won't stall, the driver simply continues safely. Furthermore, there's no longer that feeling that every puddle is a hidden threat to the battery. It's a peace of mind that changes the way you drive. And honestly, in cities with fragile drainage systems, this makes all the difference. Nobody wants to lose a car because of a summer storm. And the resistance isn't limited to water in the ground. High air humidity, which often affects connectors, electronic systems, and charging performance also has less impact on aluminum ion systems. While traditional systems reduce current or activate safety modes, aluminum-based prototypes maintain higher charging rates even in humid environments. This means that, in addition to continuing the journey through flooded streets, the car can also be charged more efficiently in adverse conditions. Another important scenario involves public chargers 
which often lack adequate protection against moisture or are partially exposed to rain. With the new battery, recharging can continue without compromising safety or performance. In urban emergencies, when every minute counts, this can be the difference between getting out of a hazardous area or being trapped until the water recedes. There's also an indirect benefit that few people realize, the durability of the system as a whole. When the car doesn't suffer as much from wet and dry cycles, the wear and tear on internal components decreases. This can mean less maintenance, greater longevity of the power pack, and a reliability that gradually approaches the ideal that is so sought after in modern electric vehicles. That old concern that water and electricity don't mix is starting to lose its force. If the car survives the cold and faces the rain as if it were just another obstacle in the road, we still need to talk about what guarantees consistent performance, thermal stability. And here, aluminum ion shows, once again, that it's not messing around. Unlike lithium ion batteries, which suffer from temperature spikes and require extremely complex management systems to avoid collapse, aluminum, with its high thermal conductivity, ensures more stable, uniform, and predictable behavior, even when the ambient temperature decides to act wildly. You know that moment when the driver accelerates uphill and feels the car sluggish, as if it had a fever? This happens because the lithium system, when subjected to low or high temperatures, suffers voltage drops and delivers less power to the engine. With aluminum ion, this bottleneck is drastically reduced. The heat generated during use is spread more evenly among the cells, preventing hot spots, and this reduces the chance of malfunctions, power loss, or sluggish responses. And the benefit goes beyond immediate performance. Because the thermal system suffers less, the car can dispense with some of the temperature control apparatus used in older models, which reduces weight, complexity, and even internal energy consumption. It seems like a detail, but when you think about a car designed for maximum efficiency, every gram and every watt counts. Tesla knows this better than anyone, and if it manages to apply this on a large scale, the Model 2 could also be a game changer in automotive thermal engineering. Now, imagine a long trip, under strong sun or during a cold front, with uphill climbs, braking, acceleration. All of this demands continuous effort from the battery. And if it can't maintain internal balance, the car will respond with acceleration failures, automatic power reduction, or even safety shutdowns. With aluminum ion, these variations are much smaller. The result? A car that maintains consistent performance from the first to the last curve, without surprises. Another interesting detail is how this stability improves the experience on urban journeys. In traffic jams, where stop-and-go driving requires small energy spikes all the time, the battery needs to be always ready to act. Unstable systems consume more energy, trying to self-regulate. Aluminum ion batteries, on the other hand, can handle this fluctuation effortlessly, delivering torque and immediate response even in the worst traffic jams. It seems like a small thing, but for those who drive every day, it's the kind of thing that transforms the mood of the trip. And for those who have already tackled steep hills with a loaded car, they know how crucial thermal management is. At times like these, it's easy to notice when the battery starts to overheat, the car begins to lose power, and the experience becomes uncomfortable. Aluminum, being more heat resistant, allows the car to maintain its performance even under pressure, without that frightening reduced power warning. Durability has always been one of the most important pillars of any automotive technology. After all, it's no use being fast, resistant to cold, or reliable in the rain if, after a few years, the battery starts to give out. And that's where a curious fact comes in. Tests with aluminum ion cells showed a 98% efficiency retention after 500 complete cycles. This, in itself, is already noteworthy. And even though we are still talking about laboratory-scale tests, these numbers point to a type of longevity that promises to far surpass what we are used to with traditional lithium. 
To put this into perspective, EVs with lithium-ion batteries typically offer between 1,900 and 2,000 cycles before a considerable drop in capacity. But what almost no one mentions is that these cycles don't always happen under ideal conditions. Heat, cold, incomplete cycles, haste, misuse, all of these wear down the battery faster. In the case of aluminum ion cells, the promise is of a more stable internal structure with less degradation from thermal stress and reduced internal resistance, which naturally increases the expected lifespan. And you know what's even more impressive? This durability doesn't depend on extremely expensive or unstable chemistry. On the contrary, aluminum is cheap, abundant, and, to a certain extent, well-behaved in electrochemical terms. This means that, in addition to lasting longer, the battery tends to be more predictable over the years. None of that feeling that the car isn't the same after two hot summers or three harsh winters. The idea here is, the battery's performance in the third or fourth year is still very similar to that of the first. There's also a psychological factor in this story. Many people are still hesitant to invest in an electric car for fear of the battery wearing out too quickly. Greater durability not only improves the long-term cost-benefit ratio, but also overcomes one of the last emotional objections preventing consumers from making the switch to electric. If the car can last 8 or 10 years with solid performance and little loss of range, why stick with a combustion engine? Another important detail is how this durability connects to intense urban use. Delivery drivers, app drivers, fleet managers, all these professionals demand the maximum from their vehicles daily. With constant charge and discharge cycles, the battery needs to be resistant. And if the aluminum ion tests are confirmed in practice, Tesla will have a powerful trump card. A battery that can withstand a beating without needing help. Fewer visits to the service center, less wasted time, and more useful time on the road. With so much technical potential, the next inevitable question is, will the production of these aluminum ion batteries really be up to the task? By 2026, Tesla has already made it clear that it is no longer just experimenting with the technology. It is preparing the ground for scaling up, and the target is well-defined. The new Model 2, the car that promises to democratize access to electric vehicles worldwide. With this new battery, it can not only be more affordable, but also more reliable, more durable, and easier to maintain. But scaling an innovation of this magnitude requires much more than good intentions. This is where GMG, the graphene manufacturing group from Australia, comes in. Back in March 2025, they announced a functional prototype of a $1,000 MOHE aluminum ion battery cell. The news was a bombshell in the industry. In addition to collaborating with the Battery Innovation Center in Indiana, GMG is already organizing itself to move from bench testing to real commercial production. And what's more, they're not alone. Several research centers and emerging companies are working behind the scenes to avoid missing this opportunity. The race now is for scale and speed. And it's not just about stacking more batteries in warehouses. The challenge lies in making a production model viable that is fast, cheap, and sustainable. Aluminum, fortunately, plays in our favor. It is abundant, 